A permanent injury from the 2020 riots landed a journalist with a big payment from the city of Minneapolis. But she's not keeping the entire settlement for herself, as David Schumann explains. She's hoping to turn her struggle into something positive. Linda Torado uses a walker because she gets dizzy spells ever since an officer's less lethal round hit her in the eye. She was here in 2020 to cover the civil unrest. <laughs> And this spring was awarded $600,000 from the city in a settlement. I did the math, realized that every resident of Minneapolis has given me $1.46, um, and I pledged 20% back to the community. Linda's in Minneapolis this week to finish distributing $120,000. People that help out in the community, uh, small businesses that were impacted, folks who have gone out of their way to make a difference. So far, Linda says she's given about 50000 to a couple hundred recipients, mostly smaller gifts of a few hundred dollars, which she believes can make or break neighborhood efforts. Often the people who need the help the most are the ones that don't get it. Oh, I'd rather have my left eye. But as long as I don't, it's good that some good can come out of it. Linda spent her day retracing her steps of covering the 2020 unrest. She said what was most striking to her was how normal everything seemed. The last time I was at this corner, everything was broken. Everything was burning. Um, so for me, it's heartening. Now she feels a responsibility to continue helping the community recover. I think it's what's owed to the people of Minneapolis. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Linda is relying mostly on word of mouth to choose who she gives to. She will also respond to Twitter messages and talk to people about how she might help them.